Today we're going to be going over 5 uses faster every brawler in the game, so let's just get right into it. Shelly is the only brawler that every single account is guaranteed to have since you unlock her in the tutorial. Star Shelly doesn't actually have any rarity that it belongs to, which is just really weird. The bandaid on Shelly's face was removed when she was remodeled in December 2023, but it ended up being added back shortly after. This Shelly wallpaper was released in January of 2021, and it actually showed Shelly holding Kit way before Kit was officially announced. Buckshot Barrage was a third star power for Shelly that ended up getting scrapped. Nita used to be able to spawn in an infinite amount of bears with her super before the devs realized it was way too overpowered and they added a limit to the number of bears. Nita actually translates to bear in Choctaw which is a Native American language and this makes sense because Nita is themed after bears. Nita and Leon are confirmed to be siblings and this makes sense because both of them have like a very similar vibe to each other with how they dress. Nita's bears actually used to lose health over time completely on their own but that was removed quickly once the game was released. Nita hasn't received a single nerf in almost one and a half years with her last nerf being in December of 2020. Colt was rumored to be a hair model in the early days of Brawl Stars back when it had a much more western theme because he kept on looking at himself in the mirror and admiring his own hair. Colt is the most featured brawler inside of all the various animations that Brawl Stars puts out with him having a lot of main roles along with a lot of his little cameos. The Rockstar Colt skin is based off of Elvis Presley and honestly they do look extremely similar especially because Colt's hair got changed for this skin. This was a prototype version of Colt and he is almost unrecognizable. Colt has gotten his class changed once, with it going from a sharpshooter to damage dealer in December of 2021. In July of 2020, the design on the back of Bull's jacket was changed from a circular human looking skull to the skull of a bull because you can see the horns on the sides. Bull was like the first brawler to really have a last name, with it being Bull Blanco and being revealed in his original original flavor text. All of Bull's skins except for his American football ones have yellow in them. Bull's pin inside of Trophy Road when it still existed was different from his actual pin that got used in the game. Spacehawk's bow is really unique because it has its own voice despite only being an epic skin even though normally only legendary skins have voice lines. Before Angela was added, Brock used to be the only male marksman brawler in the game with the other 8 being all females. Brock used to have a losing animation where he did this pose but that was very quickly removed and replaced around December of 2018. Brock hasn't received a single buff or nerf in over 2 years with the last ones being in early 2022. Brock just needs a legendary skin in order to have one skin of each rarity. Brock only has one voice line that is only one word long. El Primo was actually added to Clash of Clans as a playable troop to celebrate the global launch of Brawl Stars and he was also pretty broken in the game. According to his old flavor text, El Primo got his strength and ability because he got hit by a meteor and this helps explain his asteroid belt gadget, his meteor rush star power and also now his new gravity leap hypercharge. El Primo has 9 total skins that are using his default pose including his El Brown skin. El Primo hasn't received a nerf in over 2.5 years. El Primo has the most skins out of any other brawler with his latest baby shark skin being the one to put him ahead of Cole who he was previously tied with for first place. Barley Ash used to be a super rare brawler in the early days of the game but ended up getting demoted to a rare brawler. Barley's animation is the second most viewed video on the Brawl Stars YouTube channel and it was named after a super and this animation also showed his loose temper when it came to messes. Barley was only one of two original thrower brawlers with the other one being Dynamite. If you pay attention to the animation for the Maple Barley skin, you can notice that eyes are different from all his other skins and they signify that the Maple may not actually be Maple and that Barley is actually drunk. The voice actor for Barley is actually a 3D artist for Raw Stars which is really random but also pretty interesting. One of the voice lines for using Poco Super is Power Cord but this doesn't really make sense because his normal attack is also called Power Cord. Poco used to have a star power called Swan Song and it was one of the original 
ones that came out in the Star Power update, and not many people really seem to know about it. Poco Super used to not be able to go through walls, but that was changed shortly after the game was released. Poco used to be in a class called Healer, but obviously that isn't in the game anymore, and so the class was changed to Support. Poco has double the Epic skins than Super Rare skins, with him adding 4 Epics and 2 Super Rares. Rose is the last Rare Brawler added to the game, and it's been about 5 years since another one has been added. The first 6 changes Rosa got were all nerfs, and after that she would only ever end up getting 6 buffs in total while still getting a couple more nerfs. Rosa received no buffs or nerfs at all in 2021 and 2022. Rosa got her voice lines just about a month after getting released, which is the fastest out of any brawler who didn't already come with voice lines. Rosa had gotten her health initially buffed from 5000 to 5400, but in December 2023 that was just completely reverted with her health going back to 5000. Jessie is the first super rare brawler and her and her turret have been remodeled two different times and and the turret still glitches out, which makes me think that it's just intentional at this point. Every single Jesse skin has at least some bit of yellow in it, but the doll and shadow knight turret skins don't have any yellow at all. The hair in Jesse's icon is slightly darker than the one in her 3D model. Maya Tudor is a voice actor for Jesse, and she has also voice acted for massive movies like Megamind. Between December 2017 and December of 2020, Jesse didn't receive a single nerf. She received 14 different buffs during that time before getting a nerf in January of 2021. In the early days of Brawl Stars, you actually had to kill 3 Dynamikes in the tutorial instead of the robots like you had to do today. Dynamike has the most skins out of any super rare brawler and he is also the first one to have a skin for each rarity. The bird on Dynamike's head is actually called a canary and they were used to detect toxic gas inside of mines back in the early days of mining before all the fancy technology. Dynamite has received a total of 29 buffs and nerfs so far, which is the most out of any super rare brawler in the game. When the satchel charge gadget for Dynamite was added, there is actually a bug where only the left Dynamite stick would actually give a stun effect. The one on the right wouldn't do anything, even though both sticks were supposed to deal a stun, but luckily this got fixed about a week after the gadget was added. Tick was actually supposed to be a mythic brawler. When he first came out, he was put with the mythic brawlers despite him being shown as super rare, which most likely means that he was programmed to be a mythic, but it got changed last minute and they just forgot to change that part. Tick's eyes in his Brawl Stars announcement actually looked slightly different to the Tick that was released in the game. Tick hasn't received a single buff in almost 4 years, with the last one being in September of 2020. Tick's backup mine gadget was so bad that it became a meme and also ended up getting removed and got replaced with Mine Mania, which was a much better gadget in my opinion. In March of 2021, it was changed so that the spread on Tick's mines would actually change depending on how far you threw them, with the longer distance obviously receiving a bigger spread instead of how it was before where it was the same. 8-Bit is the only brawler to actually have a number in its name, which is surprising since there are a lot of other robot brawlers in the game. 8-Bit has the lowest average word count for his voice lines when excluding the lines for his virus skin. 8-Bit didn't receive his first buff until 6 months after he got released and instead in that time he got 5 nerfs because 8-Bit was a really good and even borderline OP brawler. 8-Bit's extra life star power used to make him invincible for a bit after respawning which was obviously very broken and was like the final change that would really lead it to getting removed and instead replaced with plugged in. 8-Bit is just missing a mythic skin in order to have a skin for every single rarity in the game. For almost 3 years, Rico was actually called Ricochet, but that name was changed to just Rico in January of 2019, where he also got a remodel. Rico has been shown to have a really deep connection towards vending machines, and that kind of makes sense because he is also a dispensing type machine with him being a gumball machine. At the very beginning of the game, Rico actually used to only shoot 4 shots, but very quickly that was changed to 5 shots which was a much needed bounce change. The gold metal Rico skin had gotten remodeled and its name changed to Loaded Rico and the price was increased by a lot. Rico's flavor text mentions Space Bounty Hunter and 
and that's like a reference to what Brawl Stars originally was supposed to be and that was a space themed game called Project Razor. In December 2019, Daryl's attack was changed so that it fired 5 shots instead of 4, but the damage of each shot was also reduced and at the end the total damage just stayed the same. Daryl used to be able to pretty much just roll across the entire map and that was extremely broken, but it was also a little fun to play around with, though at the end of the day, more people use it to just have a massive advantage and that is why Brawl Stars ended up making the ability a lot more balanced and realistic. Daryl didn't end up receiving his voice lines till May of 2020, which made him the last super rare brawler to get one. Daryl has an eye patch on his neck, but that makes no sense because he only has one eye, so he basically won't be able to see anything if he ever put it on. Daryl had a skin that you could get for free, and that was his Omega Box skin, and it became free because people had to show a total of 4 billion brawlers in the game. The first time Penny was in an actual loading screen was in December 2021, and she was so far back that most people just never even noticed. But it was a big deal since she had been in the game since 2018, yet this was the first time she actually got into a loading screen. In June of 2022, Penny's cannon finally got an indicator in the form of an X mark to show where the cannonball will land. It had been a bit over 4 years of her being in the game without that X mark, which is just crazy. In the same update, Penny had received a major rework where all of her stats, star powers, and gadgets were changed. And this was the biggest rework for any other brawler in the game and the purpose of this was to fix her since she was like really bad at the time. Penny had received her voice lines just 6 months after being added in May of 2018 which was pretty quick at the time for a new brawler. Penny's shots used to just like break when they hit someone but 3 months after release it was changed so that they will go like through the enemy so you could hit more than one person with one shot. Carl actually used to be classified as a sharpshooter when he first came out, but about a month later he got changed to become a fighter. Carl is a robot, but he is the only robot brawler in the game that doesn't actually sound like a robot, and instead he just sounds like a kind of weird sounding human. Carl hasn't received a nerf in almost 2 years, which is just insane. Carl is a bit of a nerd who just likes to study rocks and stones, and that is the reason he is a mining robot. He is obsessed with this kind of stuff and you do not want to be around him once he starts talking about different types of rocks. Carl has the same number of super rare and epic skins with them being 4 each. Jackie is by far the most aggressive and toxic brawler in the game, which can really be shown just by all of her voice lines, but she is basically just insulting opponents in every single line. Jackie is one of the only brawlers who reaches the full range of their attack as soon as you actually attack with them, even including melee brawlers since it still takes just a little bit to attack. Jackie's super used to have a delay when activating it, but that delay was removed entirely, further continuing the whole speed thing of Jackie's attacks. There used to be a glitch with Jackie's wall repair that would make it invisible for other people, which is why the stew in this clip is just shooting at the boxes since he obviously can't actually see them in the game, and the only way to see this was going back and watching the replay. Jackie Super used to give her a damage reduction on top of everything it did, but that was changed in October of 2021 where the damage reduction was removed because it was too strong. Gus's default skin used to show him holding the full balloon, but it was later updated so that the balloon went longer and it would now be partly out of the frame. Gus can have up to 10 whole spirits on the map, though that is pretty rare inside of normal games. Gus actually got buffed before he was even available at all in the game, including just a training cave. Gus lives in an abandoned train underground and that helps explain his obsession with like ghosts and paranormal stuff since he probably sees the creepy stuff down there. Gus is the latest super rare bar to get a skin with him getting the blue and sally skin on the 3rd of March and this skin would also be his first ever super rare skin. Bo is the first ever brawler to have a supercell make program and the winners of that were demonic Bo and horse Bo. Bo is the only brawler that has every single skin rarity including a Chinese Chinese version and he definitely has the most skins out of any other epic brawler. In beta, Bo also used to have 4 mines but that was changed down to 3 when he was changed to a super rare and it's just been like that even though he is an epic brawler again. 
there used to be a glitch where you could place infinite mines with bow and that was really broken and just fun to play around with before it got patched. Horus and Underworld bow used to have a bigger explosion radius than the other bow skins and no one knows why this happened but it ended up getting patched in October of 2021. M's didn't used to have a range indicator for when you were aiming a super attack but that was added almost an entire month after she was added in the game. Ems has her own hairspray brand and when she sprays it on herself she is fine but when it's on enemy brawlers it's toxic. College Ems had gotten remodeled over 3 years after she got released and also renamed to Mean Girl Ems. Ems has had her class change twice with it going from fire to damage dealer and then from damage dealer to controller. Ems had gotten a tiny 0.1 second decrease in her reload time in October 2020 taking it from 2.1 seconds down to a flat 2 seconds. You used to be able to knock the enemies back when you used to super but that feature was removed because it was a little too broken. The arrows on Stu's helmet actually point in different directions for his normal player model and his GG pin which is really interesting and I think the reason for this is that the up arrow is meant to represent positivity which is what that pin is obviously about. Stu is the only epic baller to have like no facial expressions which I guess makes sense because his face is pretty much just a big eye and even that doesn't blink. Stu has only ever received one buff which was just a 100 health increase and he has gotten a total of 8 nerfs over the 3 years he has been in the game and his last nerf was over a year ago. Stu's class used to be called Action Assassin which I think was pretty cool but when Brawl Stars decided to simplify the classes he got changed to just a normal assassin. Piper's main attack used to have such a long range that it wouldn't even fit on the screen and it took them over 8 months to actually fix this. The voice actor for Piper is Elizabeth Seda and she is also actually the voice actor for the Little Prince and Guardian inside of Clash Royale. In the year of 2022 Piper literally received received zero changes. There are no buffs, nerfs, or even like any new skins or anything. Piper had her class change twice with it first going from a sharpshooter to damage dealer and from damage dealer to marksman. Piper is known to have a really dark past when looking at her flavor text but we don't really know what she did though the most popular theory is that she used to be a spy. Pam was supposed to be called Mama J and that was her name in the dev version of the game before she got released but things changed last minute and she was just called Pam. Pam has a hitbox of a tank but her speed is the same as just a normal brawler which is really what makes it easier to hit Pam. If you really pay attention you can notice that Pam always shoots 5 shots directly in front of her and then 3 30 degree angle shots to the other side of her. The Stonks Pam skin is named after the very popular Stonks meme that I'm sure everyone is aware of. The first 6 changes Pam got after release were all buffs and what made her a really good brawler at the beginning. Frank is actually supposed to represent Frankenstein which is an extremely famous and popular fictional character and both of them look very similar especially their head shapes. Frank had gotten his class changed to tank from heavyweight in October of 2021. Frank has received 3 times more buffs than nerfs with him having 15 buffs and 5 nerfs. Frank has a super sub mix skin called Spirit Knight and it was created by Winky and this was definitely more on the unique side in the drawing since it was really cool and was a 2D drawing and not 3D. Frank also didn't receive any changes at all in 2022 similar to Piper and it has been about 2.5 years since he received his last buff. The face of Baby's bat was removed on iOS devices for some reason, most likely a glitch but it ended up getting added back once people started to notice. In the same update that fixed her bat, BB also received her voice lines just about one year after being added into the game. BB hasn't received a nerf in 3 years and in that time she has received about 6 buffs. BB is just missing a mythic skin for her to have a skin in every rarity inside of Brawl Stars. BB has at least like actual golden true gold skin since less than half of her really has a bright yellow gold part. Bia last got a skin on June 4th in 2021 not counting the true silver and true gold ones which I guess only did come out 2 months later and this had been the longest any brawler has gone without a skin in the history of the game. Bia has actually had her class change 
three times. First, I went from sniper to sharpshooter, and then from sharpshooter to damage dealer, and finally from damage dealer to marksman. Bia and BB were both the second ever bars to be a part of the Superstar Make program, and obviously the first one that included more than one brawler. In October 2023, Bia got a slight rework to show how her aiming like looked and worked. The beehive from Bia's honey molasses gadget used to just stick around, but it was changed so that it would take damage over time and would get destroyed on its own if no one else did anything. Nani didn't receive her first nerf until over a year after she was released, which is really just crazy. Nani is the only thrower bra that can actually fully control her attack to change the distance that it goes. Hank and Janet have to charge it up and can't go back without changing attacking. Nani has also received the same amount of buffs and nerfs with it being 6 each. Nani used to be a fighter but then got changed to damage dealer. Nani has exactly one skin of each rarity, except for Legendary, which she doesn't have a single skin for. Edgar was completely free to unlock for literally everyone for the first two weeks that he was out in the game, and the matches around this time were literally just full of him. Edgar actually has a bad randoms logo on his shirt for his default skin, and that is a band inside of Brawl Stars, and they have a total of 8 songs. And it is also pretty fitting for Edgar to wear the shirt, because he is considered to be one of the worst randoms you can get in a game. Edgar Ash has three legendary skins, but two of them are just like different colorways to his main mecha legendary skin. There used to be a bug that would cause Edgar's eyes to actually turn yellow, which was really weird. Thief Edgar is the newest skin and it was extremely popular and even trending on Twitter because content creators were able to give him away and I actually gave away 4 myself, which was really fun. Griff was first unlockable by completing and beating the Griff challenge, which lasted only 3 days before he was added to the game and then the way to unlock him will be just by getting through the brawl boxes at the time. Griff is actually a human because you can see skin poking through his glove and also biased collar. The last time Griff received a nerf was about one and a half years ago. Griff has only gotten three skins despite being in the game for almost three years, meaning his average is one skin a year, which is really low. Griff is actually broke, but pretends to be rich because you can see that business is bad for him. In January of 2022, Grom got a 1% increase in the recharge rate for a super, which is just really strange how they only did 1% since it basically weren't really make any noticeable difference for most people. In Grom's introduction animation, you can see how pretty much just a bunch of kindergartners turned him into a villain and honestly, I don't blame him. Despite being portrayed as a villain and bad guy, Grom does have a bright pink bunny skin which I thought was pretty funny. Grom was initially unlockable through a challenge in which you had to win 9 matches. Grom's X Factor star power actually used to increase the charge rate for a super, but this was a bug and ended up getting patched. Bonnie is a little sister of Janet and that also kind of explains why she is epic rarity and Janet is mythic. The name of Bonnie's canon is Clyde and that is a reference to the infamous Bonnie and Clyde since both of them travel together and commit crimes. Bonnie got her first skin two days after she was fully available in the game and the skin was Empress Bonnie but I find it interesting how it was was released just like two days later instead of just coming with the addition of Bonnie. Bonnie also had her class changed to Marksman from Damage Dealer. Bonnie is known to be a daredevil but not really that good as shown in the animation showing both her and Janet and some other stunt type brawlers. There used to be a glitch where Gil's twister would end up knocking you and your teammates back instead of the enemies which just worked against you and was quite a surprise if you never knew about it before. Gail is the first epic brawler in this video that actually used to be a chromatic. Gail has also had his class changed twice, first from support to hybrid and then from hybrid to controller. Gail only has epic skins, which I guess is kind of fitting since he is an epic brawler. For any normal brawler, Gail really has like the least amount of voice lines and shortest ones on average. And obviously this is excluding the unusual brawlers like Grey or Otis. The first 8 changes that Colette got were all buffs and the last 3 have been all nerfs. It has been over 3 years since Colette last got a buff. Colette's eye that is hidden under her hair can be seen for a single frame during her animation but you can only see about a third of it. Colette has a whopping 6 epic skins with 4 of them being Brawl Pass exclusives. The only reason Colette ever got any nerfs was because of her hypercharge. Belle is rumored to be Colt's mom because Colt is a sheriff and Belle is part of a gang. And she has voice on saying, 
glad you ain't my kid and this is most likely referring to Cole because she disapproves of him being the sheriff and disowns him. Bell is named after Bell Star, who was an actual outlaw that like robbed banks and stuff in the Wild West, and she did this with Sam Star, who was her husband, and this refers to Sam the Brawler, and they had a daughter named Bell, which refers to Bell the Brawler as well. And honestly, this is really just crazy to think about. Bell hasn't received a nerf in almost three years, and in that time, she has also only received one buff. Bell is one of the most recent epic brawlers to get a hypercharge, with her getting it just at the end of February this year. When Belle was added to the game, she already came with the skin, which was her gold hand skin. Ash is the only brawler to have a rage meter or really just any sort of mechanic like that. Ash's job is to clean up the park and make it look nice and over the time he has worked there, he doesn't feel like people really appreciate or even acknowledge him, which obviously makes him upset and because of that, Ash wears a trash can just to cover himself. The face on Ash's back actually used to be the profile picture on the Twitter account for the lead artist for Brawl Stars. The last 5 changes Ash has received have all been buffs. Every single Ash skin has at least some bit of blue in it. Lola has what is probably considered the strangest voice in the game. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Lola has 5 epic skins, making her just Pian Colette since she has 6. Lola has twice as many nerfs as buffs, with her getting 4 nerfs and 2 buffs, which overall is a pretty small amount for a brother that has been around for like 3 years. Lola's mirror is just a picture of her face, showing how self-obsessed she is. The Chola Lola skin got the name changed to Rock and Roll Lola and then again got changed to Rebel Lola and I have no idea why any of this happened. Sam was turned into a ghost by Gus and you can see this when the special offer popped up for Gus and Sam was in the background and was just turning into an outline. As I had mentioned earlier, Sam is based off of Sam Star in real life but in the game his last name is actually Bronson and he's one of the few brothers who actually even have a last name. Sam used to be a damage dealer but then his class got changed to assassin. Sam is the most responsible person in the gold arm gang because his flavor text says he makes sure Bell doesn't go too crazy. Sam was actually available in the training cave for a week before being added to the game and this is a lot longer than usual since it's normally only one or two days. The default skin for Manny doesn't have an angry face on the bazooka, but other skins have it, not including the true gold and silver ones. Mandy has never gotten a single nerf, instead she has gotten 3 buffs so far and the one this year that she has been in the the game. Mandy actually came into the game with two skins, which were her MC and Magma skins. Mandy got her class changed from Damage Dealer to Marksman just two months after she was released. There was a pretty serious bug with Mandy's super that let it come back and deal damage after going out of the arena, but this bug ended up getting patched. If you use Maisie's gadget, you could deal absolutely insane amounts of damage to players going well into the tens of thousands. Macy's disengage gadget used to make you dash backwards, but after a small rework 2 months after she was added to the game, the gadget now made you dash forwards. Macy is based off of Me Gunner from Super Smash Bros, with the main thing in common being the weapon on their hands. In a voice line, Macy says that she is armless, even though that isn't true in two ways. First of all, she clearly does have her arms, and second, she is technically always armed because of her weapon. It used to take 3 shots to charge Macy's super but that ended up being increased to 4. Instead of saying kill, Hank says Krill! through a couple of his voice lines, which is just really interesting. Hank rhymes with tank, and I guess that kind of makes sense because he is a tank. Hank's voice line, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, is a clear reference to the big bad wolf from the very popular Three Little Pigs fairy tale. Hank is the first epic brawler in this video to not have received the true gold and silver skin yet. When Hank was released, he didn't always do the same amount of damage, even if the attack was the exact same, and this error resulted in an emergency patch which fixed it the next day. Pro was originally supposed to be a mythic brawler because her icon was in between other mythics before she was released and once the chromatic rarity was removed, she became an epic. Pearl is portrayed as a baker that mainly just makes chocolate chip cookies and has a lot of voice lines that reference baked goods, but her master title is Let Me Cook, which is a reference to the Let Him Cook 
Hawk meme and it was added on the 24th of October replacing a previous title of Just Do It. As of making this video, Pearl's pins still aren't actually available even though she came out over half a year ago which is just really weird. Pearl has received a total of 6 nerfs and 2 buffs in a relatively short time she has been in the game which is a lot considering other brawlers have been around for years and don't have that many. Pearl used to actually be a slow brawler but once her movement speed was buffed she was back up to normal. Larry and Laurie were the first epic brawlers to be available as early access through a bundle which ended up costing $15. Larry and Laurie were so overpowered when they came out that they have only received nerfs and have received a total of 11, which is absolutely insane considering they've been in the game for only two and a half months. Larry and Laurie only have one skin in the game and it's just a rare, which is surprising considering most brawlers typically get better skins at the beginning. Larry and Laurie are also the most recent brawlers that have like two separate entities. Larry and Laurie are very similar to each other in looks, but they do have their own separate and unique weapons. Angelo is the newest brawler in the game, with him being added just about two months ago. Angelo's poison will end up basically resetting the tick damage if you shoot too quickly after the first shot, meaning you end up doing less damage. Angelo can walk on water, and this was a big deal since before this, Eve was the only brawler with that capability. Angelo's movement speed also goes just over 1000 when he walks over water if you have his follow star power equipped. Angelo seems to have some sort of antenna or something at the top of his head which shows just how close he is to the swamp. The beach time mortis skin was actually created all the way back in 2019 and was shown in this bizarre beach animation but the skin itself was released two years later in 2021. When looking at this graph you can see that mortis at the bottom since he has a really high usage rate compared to his really low win rate and that just shows how many people actually play Mortis and how he can be considered overrated. Mortis used to have a top hat in the early days of Brawl Stars but once the game global launched his hat was removed from the default skin and that caused people to be mad so Brawl Stars ended up adding the top hat Mortis skin for free to make up for it. Mortis has a Night Witch skin which is a reference to the Night Witch that exists in both Clash of Clans and Clash Royale which are both other Supercell games. Mortis by far has the most amount of skins out of all the mythic brawlers with three of them existing just because of the top hat. A week after Tara was released her health was nerfed from 800 down to 700 but just one month later that nerf was reverted meaning it just basically never happened. And yes this was before the health of every brawler was multiplied by 4. The first season of the brawl pass was called Tara's Bazaar which is obviously based off of Tara and it is the only season that directly mentioned a brawler. Martin actually created the voice lines for Tara and he had to use a ton of special effects to create those voice lines since they are pretty unique and sound really different. Tara has had her class change two times. First it went from skirmisher to fighter in January of 2020 and then it was changed to damage dealer in October of 2021. Tara has also had her flavor text changed two times and I'm not gonna bother reading them out for the sake of time but the first change was in June of 2020 and the second change was just in October of 2023. When Gene first came out, using his super would cause the entire game to crash for you and everyone nearby and caused him to be removed for a short while before the glitch got patched. Gene had actually gotten leaked about 3 weeks before he was announced in Brawl Talk and the leaked footage looked to be from when the game was still in beta, meaning Gene had actually been something Supercell was working on for a while, which just makes the whole crashing bug even crazier since they had so much time to figure that out. Gene has so far received exactly 2 times more buffs than nerfs. I counted all of them and it comes out to be 20 buffs and 10 nerfs over the 5 year period he has been in the game. In April 2022, all of Gene's skins got little changes to their visual effects to fit the skins better. In Gene's icon, it shows that he has two vampire type teeth, but in his actual character model, he doesn't have any teeth showing at all. Max is supposed to be a spin-off of Lightning McQueen because both of them share the same red and yellow colors and Max's master title of I am speed is a reference to McQueen's saying of I am lightning. And another similar fact is that her name is also the same as Max Verstappen who is one of the best F1 drivers in the world and has actually won the world championship for 2021, 2022, and 2023. The street where Max skin had a bug that put the display of reward 
watch onto her face, but this ended up getting fixed in March of 2021. Max is actually the opposite of Jean in the fact that she has so far gotten two times more nerfs than buffs. She has gotten 12 nerfs while getting only 6 buffs in about the 4-ish years she has been out in the game. Max has 4 super rare skins, which is the most out of any mythic brawler and really is a lot in general considering she only has 1 rare and 1 epic. All of Mr. P skins are from special events except for the agent Mr. P skin which is also his only rare skin and the cheapest one. Mr. P's 10 can star power was renamed in August of 2020 and changed to revolving door because it was reworked so that the pores would spawn a whole 3 seconds faster. Mr. P has had his class changed twice, with the first change being from sharpshooter to damage dealer in October 2021 and the second change taking him to controller in February of 2023. The voice actor for Mr. P is the same person who also did the voice lines for Tara and this makes sense because both of these brawlers don't actually as you speak, they just make interesting sounds. Mr. P hasn't received a direct nerf in practically 3 years. April 7th of 2021 was the last time he received a nerf and he actually got 3 of them which were all pretty big nerfs. In Sprout's GG pin, which is supposed to be a thumbs up, he actually shows his left hand, meanwhile every other brawler shows their right hand. If you set the game language to French, then Sprout's name gets turned into Wally, -E, which is a reference to Wall E since both of them also look pretty similar. Sprout is actually a guardian robot and not a robot controlled by a plant which is what most people used to believe and this was confirmed in a tweet by Paul Chambers who used to be an artist for Brawl Stars. Sprout has actually received 4 times more nerfs than buffs with him getting 8 nerfs and only 2 buffs and it has also been basically 3 years since he received his last nerf. Sprout Super actually used to be able to destroy spikes but this was a bug and got passed in November of 2021. Baron is the newest mythic brawler to ever receive the mythic skin and also the second one overall with the only other one being Janet. There used to be a glitch where the wizard Baron skin's animations will glitch out when you use jump pads but that was fixed about a month after the skin came out. The wizard Baron skin also used to only be exclusively purchased for 25,000 star points but once the star points were removed from the game the skin then became available for 149 gems and also became available to be bought for 5,000 bling. Byron's You Need My No Noob Cure voice line actually isn't used in the game since no one has actually heard it in game even though it is an official voice line that is supposed to play when he kills an enemy. Byron has received an equal number of buffs and nerfs with both of them being at the number 6. Squeak's attack could actually be cancelled out by Surge's teleporting. Squeak's newest squeaky note skin which was added in February 2024 is actually his first rare skin. He had gotten 4 super rares and 1 epic before ever getting a single rare skin. When Squeak's residue gadget got added, it was super OP since it could reveal enemy brawlers hiding inside of bushes, so there was an emergency fix literally the next day which fixed this. Squeak has gotten his class changed twice. The first change was from fighter to damage dealer in October 2021 and the second change was to controller in February of 2023. In the period between October of 2022 and until now, Squeak has gotten a total of 6 different skins which is the most frequent out of any other brawls in the game over such a period of time. There used to be a thing where if you had more than one loot on your team, they would all share the same freezing bar. Lou got his name because it rhymes with igloo and he is a snowed brawler and his head also kind of looks like an igloo with a round dome like shape. On the back of the burger Lou skin you can actually see a thumbs up icon. Lou has either only gotten buffed or only gotten nerfed in a straight period of time. What I mean by this is that the first 10 changes were all buffs and the last 3 changes were all nerfs meaning you never had any sort of back and forth like you have with pretty much all the other brawlers. Lou Super actually used to crash the game, though it ended up getting quickly patched and not many people even knew it was a thing. Brawls is the only brawler that was released after the global launch of Brawl Stars that actually received a name change, with it going from Colonel Ruffs to just Ruffs. The smoke in Ruffs angry pin actually comes out of his nose, but for most other brawlers, the smoke comes out of their ears. Ruffs currently has the lowest suicide rate in the game as of writing this, with it being just at 0.33%. 
Ruff's flavor text has been changed three separate times all within about one year with the first change happening in August of 2022 and the third one in October of 2023. The last time Ruff's got a skin was over one and a half years ago with the last one being his chimney skin which came out in July of 2022. Buzz's circle actually lasts for 10 minutes and you can test this out by just going into training cave and timing it. Buzz has only received two buffs and zero nerfs which is pretty crazy considering he has been in the game for almost three years now and the two buffs are both just buffs to his health meaning he has 4800 health now instead of the 4200 that he originally came into the game with Buzz actually used to have a really unique class called Buzzassin, but when Brawl Stars decided to simplify the classes, he was changed to just be a normal assassin. Buzz doesn't actually have any super rare skins, making him one of the only brawlers in the game to be like that, which is even crazier considering that he has been in the game for almost 3 years now. Buzz has been proven to kind of have an ego since he likes to try and use as much of his lifeguard powers as possible in order to get people in trouble. When you kick with the default fang skin, your screen shakes like normal, but when you do it with the octo fang skin, your screen doesn't shake at all. The last 7 changes fang has received have all been nerfs, with 6 of them just being in the last 4 months and all relating to his hypercharge. Fang actually has 5 epic skins, making him the only mythic brawler with that many, and 2 of them literally just came out a few days ago as of writing this, and those were the red and blue picture skins. Every single Fang skin also has at least some yellow in it with obviously the exception of his true silver skin. The Kabocha Fang skin is actually one that won the Super Soul May competition and it was created by Glowing Shark and its original name was Spectral Warrior Fan. Eve has received 6 times more nerfs than buffs with her having gotten 6 nerfs and only 1 buff which is a pretty crazy ratio. Eve has the lowest amount of skins for any brawler that has been out for over 2 years with her only having 2 skins other than the true gold and silver with one of them having been a brawl pass skin as well. This also makes her technically have one of the highest average skin prices since those skins will be at an average of 149 gems since both of them are of epic rarity. Eve is also a little interesting because in her flavor text it says that she wants to protect her babies but in the game she actually shoots them out and if you think about it they should technically die on impact. Eve had her aiming line reworked twice with both of them happening about a month and a half from each other. It has been confirmed that Janet and Bonnie are actually sisters inside the game. Janet is shown to be the older and more responsible sister because her favorite text says that she always rescues Bonnie and is also probably why Jane is mythic while Bonnie is just epic. Janet only needs a legendary skin to join the very few brawls in the game that have a skin of every single rarity. Janet had received 8 entire nerfs before finally getting her first buffs in December of 2023. There was a bug where Janet's winning animation was changed on her default skin to go and look like the one for her dark fairy skin and this also caused the shading and stuff to look weird as well. Otis has the same text for all of his voice lines but if you listen to each of them you can see that they are all different and it's different versions of him seemingly drowning or trying to talk underwater or something else. There was a bug with Otis where if you shot before dying then you would get server error 43 and this was really weird but I ended up getting patched about a week or two after he was released. Otis only has 3 skins and they're all epic making him tied with E for having the highest average skin price. Otis has gotten his damage changed 3 times with the first change bringing it up to 460, the second change bringing it down to 440, and the third one bringing it back up to 460, basically making the second one just not matter. There is a pretty popular joke in the community where people said that Otis's voice lines were created by Superstar drowning a child and honestly it could still be plausible since no one actually knows who the voice actor for him was. If you look at Buster from the side, you can actually see a few pixels of white which which is showing his eyes which otherwise were completely covered with his sunglasses. Buster got 10 nerfs in a row over the span of just 2 months which is definitely the most of any brawler and even crazier considering the very short period of time this happened in. Since his release, Buster has lost 320 damage in his main attack but they go from 1700 to just 1380 and it had even been as low as 1320 before it got buffed a little bit. Buster is known to be a thief since he stole a projector from the movie theater he worked at and now uses it to kill people. Buster is also another brawler that only has epic skins with him only having two of them. The only colorful parts of 
gray are his eyes, which are a light yellow, and the button on his pants, which is a golden color. Gray has the least amount of voice lines with him only having five, which are just some sounds as well and not really even voice lines. The only brother with less will be Spike since he has none, but he also doesn't really count since he will never get voice lines in the future. Gray's flavor text used to ask what the definition of orthochromatic is, and the definition is basically all light except for red light, which is interesting since the mythic rarity is the color red. Auto aiming with Gray Super actually will shorten its length compared to if you were to manually be aiming it, and I'm not really sure why this is. Gray received his first and so far only buff in June of 2023, before that he had gotten two nerfs. RT has actually never received a buff as of this video. Video. Instead, he's just gotten two nerfs, which are both in February of 2023. The Morse code voice line for RT translates to 4XZ, which sounds a lot like forks, but I'm not really too sure what that exactly means. There used to be a glitch with Crimson RT skin where you would just always have a super and you were basically able to just deal an infinite amount of damage and it was just really crazy, but thankfully it ended up getting patched pretty soon. RT used to be really big and it was basically the size of the safe and heist and this really made no sense since he looked like a pretty small brawler in the animations. RT is the newest mythic brawler to have received true gold and service skins with them coming out just in late February of 2024. Willow is actually the only female thrower in the entire game, which is pretty interesting. Willow has only received a single nerf, which was a pretty big one as it reduced her speed boost from obsession down to 25%, all the way from what it used to be at 75%, and she has also received 5 buffs, meaning the nerf to buff ratio is pretty wild. There used to be a glitch where the game would crash every time you use Willow Super, which led to her getting removed from the game for a little bit while the issue got fixed. There was an issue that caused Willow Super to not work on Miko for some reason, making you unable to move him while in control, but this was patched pretty quickly. Willow is one of the few brawlers that currently does not have any true silver or gold skins. Dog actually has two unused animations that are supposed to play during the super, one when he is reviving and the other once he is revived. Dog looks like a hot dog, but he actually isn't one. He just wears a hot dog bun jacket around him and it does help some more hot dogs, which I guess works out for him. Doug has the most voice lines out of any other brawler, with a lot of them being more on the shorter side, and he does have one pretty sus voice line, but we'll let it pass since it is Doug. Doug is also similar to Willow in that he has received one nerf and five buffs. It can be assumed that Doug and Buzz both have a bit of a competition between each other since in Doug's voice lines, he mentions lifeguards and stuff about water a lot and Buzz is obviously a lifeguard as we all know. Chuck used to just spawn in with his super already fully charged, but that changed on the 24th of October in 2023 when the devs removed that, and I'm not really sure if that was a bug or something intentional. Chuck has alternative Desert Scorpion voice lines for all of his normal voice lines except for the ones for when he is activating his super. Chuck only has one nerf and zero buffs, so this is pretty normal considering he was just released in October of 2023. Chuck is also the first mythic brawl that was actually available to be bought in a bundle for early access and he costs a whole $20. Chuck does also already have legendary skin which is does a scorpion and this is honestly really interesting just because of how new he is in the game and this skin was also just added about two weeks ago as of writing this. Charlie is definitely the craziest brawler when it comes to nerfs. She has gotten 11 nerfs while only getting one buff and the even crazier thing is that this has all happened in the span of only 4 months. There are literally brawlers that have been here for years that don't even have half as many nerfs. When Charlie was added to the game, she came with 2 skins which is unique since most brawlers tend to either come with 0 or just 1. It was actually possible to get auto disconnected when you were stuck inside Charlie's cocoon. Charlie was a chromatic brawler for only less than 2 months because that's when the rarity was removed and she became a mythic. The last three nerfs Charlie has gotten all relate to her hypercharge with them just reducing her damage, speed, and shield boost by between 4 and 5%. Miko has separate translations for his voice lines in Chinese with the Wukong skin which was added for this year's Lunar New Year. Miko was asked your free brawler when he first came out in mid-December 2023 and he was free till the end of the month to celebrate Christmas. Miko also has gotten the most 
gains in the shortest amount of time, with him now having 3 skins, including a legendary, all within only 2 months. Mika has gotten exactly 1 buff and 1 nerf, and both of these were to his hypercharge. Mika is also one of the few brawlers to come into the game already with the hypercharge. Melody is the newest brawler in the game as of right now, and she has a mix of both English and Korean voice lines for her default skin, which is a first. Melody is also currently only unlockable purchasing her $320 bundle. Melody currently has the highest win rate but the lowest usage rate, and a big reason for this is obviously because she is currently locked behind her bundle. Melody got her name because she is a better musician as shown in her flavor text mentioning karaoke, as well as the music notes all around her. Melody is currently the only brawler in the game to have zero skins, though that isn't too surprising considering she is like pretty new to the game. Spike is the only brawler in the game to not have any voice lines, and it is confirmed that he will never get any voice lines even in the future. The Logmas skin for Spike is actually based off the infamous Log in Clash Royale in Clash of Clans, and is one of the few things that ties all three of these games together. Spike was actually in Clash of Clans for a bit as an obstacle to celebrate the global launch of Brawl Stars. The Toon Spike skin is actually based off of the Powerpuff Girls cartoon. Spike's class was changed from a sharpshooter to a damage dealer in October 2021 even though he didn't receive any changes to his damage or range in over a year. There used to be a bug with the Captain Crow skin that would cause the poison to actually stack making it way more powerful and actually made the skin pay to win. Crow has the fastest movement speed out of all the legendary brawlers as it goes to 3000 with his super which is extremely fast and way more than any of the other legendary brawlers. If Crow's hypercharge runs out while he is midair then he will just land with his normal super but if you activate the hypercharge while you are already midair then you will still land with the normal super meaning that you have to activate the hypercharge before going midair and it has to last till you get back on the ground for it to take effect. The white crow skin actually used to be a part of the cursed pirates collection but it was removed as a lot of players thought that it just didn't fit the overall theme. Phoenix Crow was remodeled in June of last year and it got some of its own voice lines which was really cool. Leon was the first new legendary brawler to be added with him coming out just a week before the game went global to help build up some hype. Leon used to be the most broken brawler by far because of his invisibility and that is also what made him really unique since he was the first brawler to be able to do anything like that. The addition of the white wolf skin in October 2023 made Leon the only legendary brawler to actually have a skin for every single skin rarity and the third brawler overall to have this achievement with the other two being Bo and Dynamite. Leon used to be classified as a stealthy assassin but this got changed to just assassin when Brawl Stars simplified their classes in October of 2021. That update would also be the last nerf that Leon has gotten so far meaning he has went over two years without getting a single nerf. The first five changes that Sandy received were all pretty big nerfs but the last six changes were all buffs. In October of 2023 there was a glitch that would cause the entire game to crash whenever someone used Sandy's super and this was definitely not the first time anything like this had happened before. Sandy has some of the shortest voice lines in the game if you don't count Otis since his are just the same each time and kind of unique. Sandy's first star power was added less than a month after he was added into the game. Despite them being listed as voice lines, Sandy has some voice lines like get some rest and go to sleep that you just never actually hear in the game so either they're just super rare or they just aren't actually used in the game. Amber was actually inspired by the this is fine meme in which the dog is sitting at the table while everything else is burning and this was referenced multiple times. With one being a little recreation of the meme and another being that Brawl Stars literally had it in the title of the animation for Amber which was really cool in my opinion. Amber's class was actually changed two times. First she went from a fire breather to damage dealer and then from damage dealer to controller. Amber only has two unique skins and both of them cost a whole 149 gems each meaning she has the highest average skin price in the game. Amber was the first legendary skin to be first available to play in the training cave before being fully added to the game and she was only there for one day. Amber's super was actually really strong at the beginning which is what caused us to require 5 extra hits to charge 
going from 17 to 22, meaning an almost 30% increase, which is just crazy. Max Mecha used to slowly lose health over time, but that was changed just about a year ago, where it was changed that the Mecha would actually gain health over time and also got rid of the reductions from the healing given by other brawlers. Meg's class was changed to tank from damage dealer which is a pretty big change as normally those are opposites of each other. Meg received 3 relatively big nerfs only 2 days after being added to the game which is crazy since the only times you get these changes this fast are if the brawler ends up causing the game to crash or something else. Meg's mecha looks a lot like Surge and it is also pretty widely believed that Meg created Surge herself so maybe she made the mecha as a mini version of Surge. Meg is a part of the superhero trio with Max and Surge, but she stays more in the background instead of going out and fighting with them. Surge used to be able to go straight to stage 3 on just one supercharge, but that was fixed just 2 days after he was added. Surge's power surge gadget had received a rework because it used to be way too strong and they just changed it from making him teleport to just making him gain 2 upgrades for 10 seconds. And this was also later reduced to just 1 upgrade, so it was definitely a big downgrade but at least it was much more balanced. Surge has a super so make skin called Kraken and it was designed by Steamfish and is honestly just a really cool skin. Surge also just got a brand new skin called Surgeen and it is his most expensive one because you can only buy for 149 gems. His other 149 gem skin can still be purchased using bling and the Brawl Pass skin just doesn't count since you obviously can't buy it anymore. Surge has also received a class change with him going from a fighter to a damage dealer. Chester has gotten 3 times more nerfs than buffs with him having 6 nerfs and 2 buffs with all of those nerfs coming at the exact same time. Chester had a star power and gadget added to the game at the same time and this is pretty rare as normally you would only get one at a time. Chester is the only legendary boy to not have an epic skin. He only has one rare and one super rare skin and this also makes him have one of the lowest numbers of skins out of all brawlers in the game. Chester is the only brawler that actually technically has multiple supers since there are a couple different supers that you can get as that his is main thing and what makes him special and unique. Chester really doesn't like Mandy and this can be shown in his flavor text and also in two of his voice lines where he mentions her. Cordelius has actually never received a single buff. He has just received 5 nerfs to his stats and abilities and nothing really positive. Cordelius also used to be a chromatic brawler before becoming a legendary when the chromatic rarity was removed. Cordelius is the latest legendary brawler to receive true gold and silver skins with him getting them just at the end of February like 2 weeks ago. Cordelius actually came into the game with 2 skins even though majority of brawlers come with either 1 or maybe even 0 skins. Cordelius was really unique because he introduced the shadow realm which was just a really new and cool concept. Kit has 3 Brawl Pass exclusive skins which is the most out of any legendary brawler and possibly any brawler in the game in general. And this means that he kind of only has one actual skin anyone can get which is the lowest out of any other brawler which is kind of just crazy. Similar to Cordelius, Kit has also never received a single buff. Instead, he has received 3 nerfs, so around half of what Cordelius got, but you could argue that Kit got bigger nerfs overall. Kit is also the newest legendary brawler in terms of when he got released into the game, and he was also the only one that was actually purchasable through a bundle for $30, and you could only play him in the training cave before he was added to the game in the Star Road a week later. Kit's only purchasable skin is 29 gems, meaning that he technically has the lowest average price of a skin if we don't count the cost for the Brawl Pass exclusive skins as they aren't always purchasable. You used to be able to basically use a super an infinite amount of times if you detached before the super had fully run out and this was really broken and it's a good thing that it ended up getting patched. 